Shar Margolis, Shar Communications Incorporated, and Shar Vision LLC do not endorse or offer for any purpose but entertainment the views of any guest or other expert on Shar Vision or UBN. I knew things before they happened from the time I was a child. At the age of eight, I saw a spirit at the foot of my bed and didn't know what it was. And in my 20s, I finally realized I had a special ability that could help others. I have learned that love never dies. There is a spirit world that can communicate with us, and we all have the gift of intuition. Join me, and together we will explore the possibilities of the unknown from beyond and more. This is Shar Vision. Hi, everybody. It's Sunny and Shar, and today I have a very special guest who is a very brave girl. A very brave girl, because... Well, should we talk about, okay, so she is a, is a transgender, is that the right? Transgender woman. She's a a transgender woman. This is Crystal, everybody. And um, the thing is, is that I met Crystal when I was on a show called Home and Family and you were a cameraman, right? Camera utility, but yeah, camera assist. Camera assist, Yeah. And now you've, you know, I, there are very few people who really have the moxie to either come out of the closet about anything and live their dream. And especially when you have always felt that you are female. Yes. You never felt that you were a male. That's how did you live like that? Very difficult. Very, very, it was very, very difficult. Um, Every day was kind of like putting on a show. Yeah. Kind of like a performance. Um, Every day? Every day, yeah. Can I show the photo? Absolutely. Okay. Crystal (laughs) brought the photo for you to see. Can can you hold this up to the... Oh, 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 he's got it on camera as well. So... When I first saw it, I said, oh, you're so pretty now. <laughs> well, you're cover- covering up that dimple in your chin. <laughs> and tell everybody what you said, that it, because you had a beard. Yeah, the beard was um, a beard in more than one way. <laughs> it it was. was hiding myself, yeah. It was a way of covering up. And so you were living your life and doing what you thought you were supposed to do, not what you really... Exactly. Not what I felt. Um, God. I I sort of, after years of sort of being pushed into a masculine role that I didn't feel, I um, sort of just got stuck there and just was like, okay, I have to do this. Like, I have to just live my life this way. Wow. And, and so what's it like living as a girl in oh. a man's body? <sighs> oh, it's rough. Um, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, every day is, you know, a struggle. Definitely when I wake up is the hardest, mm-hmm. um, you know, because I don't have makeup on yet or, and mm-hmm. I haven't, you know, some shadow will come back or. Do you kind of like, it, do you kind of feel like, oh, I'm still Christopher, not Crystal? Yeah. It's rough. It's, um. I almost every morning when I wake up, I have a little bit of like a anxiety attack for like a little bit just because it's like this isn't right. Oh, and um, well, that's got to be awful. Yeah. So then I immediately like, you know, get up and start working on this <laughs> to I, try to make it a I little bit better. I want everyone to know this takes a lot of guts for Crystal to be here because she's not like Caitlyn Jenner with millions of dollars to be able to do what she wants and have a TV show and everybody's going to give money and whatever. I mean, this is something she's doing like on her own with like probably a handful of friends. Right. Absolutely. And people not always understanding. Right. Yeah. A lot of people, um, you know, don't seem to really understand, but you know, then I also, yeah, I have, I have some really close friends. And then do they pretend to understand? There's some. To be cool, but they really don't understand? Yeah, And you can feel the sincerity of people, right? Exactly. Exactly, yeah. There's some people that, you know, say they're okay with it and say they're okay with how everything is. But then when I hang out with them, I'm like, I can just tell that 
It's not. not it's not okay. Exactly. But here's the other thing. Maybe they're hiding something. And maybe it's not That's a gen- true. maybe it's not a gender thing. Maybe it's a sexual thing. Maybe, maybe they're like Maybe they're a hidden gay or a bisexual or... Oh, yeah, that's true. Whatever. Mm-hmm. I mean, who knows? There's something like 70-some different, like, genders that people have discovered or something. Mm-hmm. Did you know that? Yes, yes. How many are there? Do you know? Uh, I think it's like 75 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, my friend's neighbor, the little girl came home and said, I'm a boy somebody now. And I said, what's a boy somebody? And I, I don't know, like... I, oh, my God. <laughs> so, you know, it's like... It's it's hard to even, like, identify who and what you are. But, you know, I have to tell you, a lot of people wake up in the morning unhappy. And you... But just because they're just unhappy with their lives or exactly. whatever. So, okay, so... What role did shame have to play in all of, in your life? So for a very long time, I secretly, you know, dressed as a female behind closed doors because I was ashamed of, ashamed of, you know. Did anyone else know it? Um... For a very long time, nobody up until... Um, like you hid it. Yeah, I just hid it from everyone. No one knew. Nobody had any idea. And I would actually, you know... It was almost like I create a separate persona for when I would walk out the front door. Really? Um, yeah, because when I was at home, I'd be comfortable with myself and just dressing how I wanted and being mm-hmm. how I wanted. Mm-hmm. And when I would go out the door, I was a completely different person. Mm-hmm. And it was like that for a long time up until I started dating... Um, this girl Blair Mm -hmm. and we ended up actually moving in together at one point and she started seeing things and catching on even though I was trying to hide it like like because you were buying clothes that were Mm -hmm. similar yeah or or sometimes wearing hers and she'd be like why is this like stretched out like what's going on here and I'd be like oh I have no idea (laughs) really yeah you know, my sister and I work on cases together, and she's a doctor of psychology. And we just read for a woman whose husband does the same thing. However, the wife buys two of everything that she buys for herself. Oh, my God. And, and buys him shoes and does everything for him so he can dress like a woman. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's it's, it's kind of amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's fascinating. And he's very lucky to have her. Because he doesn't, you know, he wants to stay with her. Yes. He just wants to dress like a woman. Yes. Wow. So, so when did Blair confront you with this, or? Yeah, she, um, you know, a few times brought it up and and was like, okay, so like, are you like I found this stuff and have you been wearing this and all this stuff and and I finally at one point like admitted and was like yeah like I don't know I'm just it makes me feel comfortable for some reason Mm -hmm. and then she started to kind of she was actually supportive and she was trying to help me understand what was going on because nobody had talked to me about it before because I hid it from everyone Mm -hmm. and she tried to help me see the light of you know she's sweet yeah no she was really sweet she's really your friend yeah yeah absolutely and so how is your family dealing with this transitioning not well um yeah it's it's sad it's rough it's and you're still very young how old are you i'm 26 yeah you're still young (laughs) thank you that's hard that's got to be hard for you no, it's very are difficult. Are they like religious people or are they ethnic people? Or? Um, I would say they're, you know, they're they're pretty religious. Like my mom grew up very Catholic and my mm-hmm. dad's very, very Christian. And mm-hmm. um, so the two of them together, it's it's pretty rough. But um, strangely enough, my dad was actually the one that's semi OK with it. Right. He understands it. Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. But my mom yeah, is having a really, really hard time with it. Um, and I don't so know if that's her Catholic therapy? upbringing. Is she or... going to go to therapy, or what are you going to do about that? I want her to. Like, I would love for her to. Are you to. in therapy? Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm in therapy. Good for you. Thank you. Yeah, good for you. And so you want your mom to... I would love that, because she really needs to, because she's not she, handling she, it well. Does she think 
does she think like she did something wrong? Mm -hmm. No, she actually she said feels that. like she failed. Yes. Oh, that is so wrong. It's like it's like my friends who come out of the closet who are gay. Yeah. It's so hard for these people. In fact, I know somebody right now who's friends with a relative of mine, and he's a young man that goes to college, and he can't tell his parents that he's gay. Yeah. And he's definitely gay and very happy being gay. And it's like, so he kind of adopts us and other families who accept him because we love him. He's amazing. Exactly. And that's kind of what happens. That's what a lot of people have actually told me um, who've gone through the same process is that you kind of end up getting adopted family because your blood family they don't usually. Understand. But here's yeah. the other thing. You're probably a much older soul than your mother yes. and your father. Yes. So your mother. I've been told that. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, a two-year-old can be an older soul than a 90-year-old. So, so you probably you're scaring her like she has yes. she lives in fear her whole life is probably fear and the what's the opposite of fear love yeah and she doesn't understand because god forbid if something happened to her you would be the first one at the hospital yeah you you haven't changed your heart and your love and your soul you've exactly. only changed your gender exactly <laughs> wow Mom, you got to shape up. <laughs> She's, it's got, I mean, she really needs therapy, but you know what? You probably are better off not being near her. Yes. You need to keep your distance. And then, so, and then, so she might have to go through a death and a rebirth. Absolutely. Just like you are. Absolutely. You're going through a death and a rebirth, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Yeah. You're almost like being reincarnated into a girl this lifetime. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it, I guess. Yeah. I get that. But And also, do you ever have memories of your past lives? Because um, I believe we've had past lives. You know, there's like times where I've thought maybe. You know, like little kids can sit down at three years old and play Chopin or Tchaikovsky. Yeah. And how did they learn to do that? Well, I believe that they bring a memory with them from a past life. I'm positive that I was able to read and be psychic and stuff from a past life, but there's no way I could have done what I did the first time I ever oh, read absolutely. for someone. Oh, yeah. so, so I'm wondering if you're bringing some memories from your past life as well that you mm -hmm. never completed as a woman as well. I'm just putting it out there. I could be wrong. But it's just kind of a thought. No, I love that idea, actually. It's interesting. Because it helps it helps put a reason for those of us who understand past lives and gifts and abilities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your ability is to sing. Yes. <laughs> My goodness, tell us about this. Um, well, I've been singing since I was probably five. And, um, yeah, I'm, I've been playing piano and singing most of my life and... Yeah, I'm a musician and composer and producer, and I do a little bit of everything. And 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 wh where's your band? Uh, the Warrens. Yeah, Warrens. Yeah, we're. Um, Who's that? We're based out of uh, Orange County. How far is that? Where you live now? No, I live in uh, Los Angeles in Studio City. But, oh, okay. Uh, so you, so you, um, okay. So what kind of music do you guys do? Um, it's like alternative rock, pop. It's like. You know, very much like Muse. How can people come see you? Um, we're going to start touring again soon, I'd say near the end of this year. Yeah? Um, yeah, we took a little break from touring and stuff because we've been working on our EP, uh, Who's our five-song EP. Who's in the band? Men, women? Uh, it's all it's all guys and then me. <laughs> so, all guys and you? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And um, I actually had to come out to them you know, after I'd already oh, wait, established wait, wait. the you band. You were in the band before mm -hmm. you transitioned. Mm -hmm. yes. So you were Christopher mm -hmm. you know, with a deeper voice, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Are you like on hormones and stuff mm -hmm. now? Yes, I've been on hormones for two months now, just about. So you, you know, whenever we're on hormones or, I mean, it always changes our, Sometimes our moods and our and and our because you need to balance your body. Like, mm -hmm. you know, some people are on testosterone, some people are on, you know, progesterone. I mean, even you know, 
estrogen to yes. when they lo- women lose estrogen. So, you know, just people who aren't transgender. So it's always a, a challenge to to find our our balance. Absolutely. And so you're in the process of just finding your balance. Mm-hmm. So Very much be so. kind to yourself. Yes. And do you feel guilty about your mother? A little, yeah. I'm not sure why. Because because she's upset and you're the reason she upset you look she's upset. But you can't fix everything. Yeah. Like I know I shouldn't feel guilty, but I feel like you need to forgive her and forgive yourself. Because you, I don't even know that you need to forgive yourself because you didn't do anything wrong. (laughs) So maybe forgive her for not understanding. She just doesn't understand. Yeah. She just doesn't get it. A lot of people don't totally get it. Yeah. Unless they're experiencing it. Exactly. It's like. For 45 years, I've been telling people I talk to dead people. Well, 45 years ago, when I used to go on morning shows in the Midwest, mm-hmm. say, oh, I, I talk to dead people and I see spirits and I have spirit guides. And I was like, you know, a lot of the room was going, wow, she's crazy. But I've always been an infiltrator of my work. And I have a, I think that's why I have so many great gay guys that are my friends, because they know what it is to know something's real and truthful. But other people don't understand it. You know, they just don't get it. So I totally understand when you know something is pure and real and honest and truth to live it. And and because but the thing is, is that I don't care what other people think. And I didn't even 45 years ago. But I was lucky because my parents supported me. That's big. Yeah. And that's a big deal. Yeah. So you Life is our school, and we're here to learn lessons. So one of your mother's lessons is learning to accept. And she's going to have to learn to accept. Mm -hmm. Because she'll lose you altogether if she doesn't. Because you, to thine own self, be true. You need to be true to yourself. Exactly, exactly. Because the first true love is self-love. doesn't mean you're selfish. It just means your needs matter. And... Thank God you're not living, hiding away all your life. Yeah. How horrible is that? It was really rough. You were suffering. You were in your own prison yeah. for years. How many for years? years? I, knew, I knew something was, honestly, like when I was like five, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was off. Um, when you were five? Yeah. Yeah, when I was five, I knew something was not right because wow. it was like I'd be around other boys and I'd be like, this isn't right. Like, I don't feel comfortable. And then throughout the years, yeah, it just got even more and more obvious to me. And when I was about 15, 16 is when I started to be like, okay, something's really not right. Mm-hmm. And oh, because started, your hormones and stuff mm-hmm. were kicking in. Yeah. And I was like, this is wrong. It felt really wrong. And I started trying to explore it and trying to understand, like, you know, why did you I felt call different. a therapist or what What did you do? Um, you know, I just talked to some friends about it right. when I was in high school. And I was like, you know, I just feel off like I'm not in the right body or like something's wrong. Wow. Yeah. And people just didn't really understand. And um, so I, I, you know, I was dyeing my hair different colors and doing all this stuff that mm-hmm. everybody was just like, oh, it's like this like punk kid or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, but it was really you're just exec- me. You're eccentric. Yes, and exactly. And you're a singer. Mm-hmm. And you're an artist. So people just were like, oh, whatever. But it was me trying to figure out what it was. What would you tell your younger self now? To not be afraid. Mm-hmm. Just to let go and let yourself be yourself. Because there are a lot of parents now that are allowing their five-year-olds and seven-year-olds and eight-year-olds to be transgender because that's who and what they are. Yeah. They're allowing it. Have you ever talked to any of those kids or those parents? Um, Yeah, I've talked to a few, actually, and it's very similar stories to me. That it's like, It's like, oh, yeah, I went through that same thing, and it's like, but nobody really knew. I wasn't verbal about it to many people when I was younger. 
Right. Because you might be able to help them. Are you going to write something? Are you going to write a book? Yeah, I'm thinking about writing a I book. I think you should write sort. a book. I'm writing about it a lot in my lyrics for my band and for, in, in well, my that's music. that's fantastic. But, yeah. but I'm thinking so, about writing a book. So you're being able to be creative about expressing yourself with your music. Exactly, yeah. Hmm. So you just need somebody to help you get that music out, right? Pretty much. <laughs> How can people find it? Um, we're going to release it by the end of this year. Is there a website? Uh, we have our Instagram. What's that your is Instagram? our main place What's you can Instagram? go to. It's uh, at We Are Warrens. Do you have that up there? <laughs> at. Uh, it's just a uh, at, oh, oh, at at a, sign, yeah. Duh. And then uh, <laughs> We Are Warrens. It's W A R R E N S. And um, you know, we just started building the Instagram and everything, but. We've That's kind okay, of been... because by the time people... People will be watching this forever. Oh, yeah. Way beyond my lifetime and everybody's lifetime, probably. So, hopefully, unless YouTube go, dies. Oh, yeah, no. But, no, we're going to release it um, iTunes, Spotify, everywhere by the end of this year. And, you know, on Instagram, we're going to start throwing out some little teasers and stuff pretty soon. I have I have a client who's a transgender. I have more than one client who's a transgender. And I love them. I truly love them because when when you live with the truth, you're free. Yeah. And you're free. Finally, yeah. But imagine all the people in the world who are not free. And so that's what causes them to suffer. It's it's like suffering. What what would you like to tell the world if you had something to share with them about what you're going through and what's happening and just that I'm a normal person unlike anybody else yeah and that you know I'm not a freak no and this isn't wrong it's not it's not a sickness it's not a disease or anything like that it's just you know it's your truth it's your truth yeah it's my truth it's um it's your reality. Yes. And, you know, everybody's a little bit different. Everybody's different. Everybody's and different. This is, you know, there's just people like me that are a little bit different and people have to adjust to it. But, you know, you're here as a teacher. You're That's here as trying. a teacher because you're here to teach other people to learn to accept. Yes. And there must be a karmic thing with your mom and your dad. But my, I, I, I mean, if, if they're going to have to go and get therapy. Yes. And you're going to have to keep an arm's length because you can't keep going there and getting rejected. That's heartbreaking. But you have adopted family. Yes. Who adore and love you. Mm -hmm. So how is your relationship with Blair now? What are you, sisters? Kind of, yeah. We're like kind of besties now. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. It's really interesting. We didn't talk for about a little less than a year. We didn't talk at all because it was just too hard and and I still wasn't quite accepting things yet when right. we separated and right. um but yeah now we're like better than we ever were we're best isn't, friends isn't now isn't that great it's amazing no it's she seriously totally amazing. gets it she totally gets it does she miss you as Christopher um she's said you know yeah she misses she misses having a boyfriend yeah yeah but that's okay you can give her a different kind of crystal exactly it's a, just a, a different kind of you know i mean what if this god forbid it happened and you guys were married and had kids and then you decided to oh my you know, god yeah i mean that's what a lot of people i mean I, I i have a friend who's who who had two little girls and when they were three and four he just he he was gay and he's he left and he's good friends with his his ex-wife mm-hmm. and, he, and they raise you know they raised their girls they're in their 20s now but um, he had the moxie and the, the strength and the guts to move on, you know? And so th- this probably isn't my business, but I'm going to make, I just, it's, it fascinates me. Are, are you attracted to women or men? It is very interesting. Um, and I've been asked that many times now. Um, I sort of don't, 
care. It. Um, oh, you're bisexual. I, well, I consider myself to be pansexual. Which see, there's another name. One of the seventy five. What there does that you go. Mean? Um, pansexual basically means that I am attracted to people, not parts. You're attracted to someone's soul and yes. spirit. What about age? Don't care. See, that's somebody who truly sees the soul and connects with the spirit and the soul of somebody. Yeah. I just am so attracted to, live to people. In, so you live in Hollywood where so mm-hmm. many people are so hung up on their their looks and the age and the older guy with the younger girl, the younger, older girl, with the younger guy, whatever. Mm-hmm. There's so many, like, scenarios to go through, but... But good for you because so many kids are going to start looking up to you. I would love that. That's really like kind of my you mission now. You need to now. write a book. I'm you working on some stuff. You need to write something stuff. or even do a blog. <laughs> mm-hmm. or, because and is there anyone that you go to to, to, to talk about this? Like, I mean, do you, do, is there somebody online that's transgender that you go to? Um, yeah, there's a few friends I've met online and... Some friends I've actually met out and about in Los Angeles that mm-hmm. now I, you know, we message back and forth a lot and talk through things off and on because some of them that I've met, actually most um, transgender people I've met now are much, much further on their journeys. And really? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm probably the only one I know that's this early on. Are you going to do the whole thing, the, the all the operations and everything, or what? Um, I'm still, you know... You're trying to figure it out. Weighing my options and figuring all that out, but, you know, you nothing's out of the question. And you helping you mm-hmm. to figure all that out. Exactly, yes. Yeah, what's going to be right for me. Um, when I first read for my client, it was on Skype, and she's so gorgeous. And finally, I said, are you a boy and a girl? <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> like I couldn't understand what I was getting <laughs> in like psychically I couldn't mm-hmm. understand because you know the problem in our world is everything has people have to have labels yeah people have to always have you know like because of fear people always have to put things in their own little boxes to make it right for their own lives Exactly. People always have to have titles. And that's not true. Exactly. We don't have to put things in titles. There doesn't always have to be an exact answer for something. That's why we're here to explore it and learn it and understand it. Well, I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much. And I'm here if you need me. Thank you. That means a lot. Yeah. And you'll come back. Oh, I'd love to. You'll come back when your music's out there Mm -hmm. and we'll, you know, either play your music or talk about your music and do whatever we can to help you. And I feel like we you need to gather more transgender kids around the country to follow you so you can help them. They can help you. People need support systems. I agree. It's it's really important. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you. You're the best. Thank you. You're the best. (laughs) You're the best. I would be proud if you were my child. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um, Don't go away because I'm going to be doing a reading. And um, I think you'll find it very interesting. If you like what you've seen on Char Vision, then go to char.net and book a personal reading with me or join a group reading or join one of my workshops where I teach you to be psychic and intuitive. Okay, we're back and I've got a lovely person here who I am going to read for. Full disclosure, I met her briefly at a party, right? For and five seconds. For five seconds. This is Christiane, but I didn't read for her. I don't know anything about her. I honestly don't know anything about you. No. <laughs> but thank you for trusting me. So I, I gave her some of the rules during the break. So just be open-minded, please, about everybody living and deceased. And if more than one person share the same name or initial, please let me know. And it's not logical because it could be a middle name, first name, whatever. So just try to work with me and we'll figure it out. And so is there somebody that's an A or M initial, an M? 
Do you have family that's an A or an M? Um, Is there anyone who's like an Anthony or an uh, uh, Antonio? Antonio. Who is that? That's your my, grandpa? My, one of my grandfathers. Yeah, your grandfather's spirits around you. Yeah, Antonio. Okay. And also, is there like a J, like a Joseph or John around you or, There's or a, a Josephine? I have a John. John? Yes, I do, actually. De- are yes. they deceased? No. Who is John? John is my dear friend who I just started a new adventure with in Okay, life. okay. I, what I'm thinking, is it a business adventure? Yes. Is it creative? Yes. Does it have to do with either film or TV? Yes. I have a feeling there's a great opportunity with this. And, but I also feel like this is a time to take risks. Is this something different than you've done yes. before? Totally different? Totally different. This is a time to take risks. And this is a time to be confident with everything you've learned for all these years and be proactive about making things happen. But I see more than one project. So are you working on more than one project? We're just starting a second one. You're The two of you together. Yeah, but I'm, are you also doing something with someone else? Yes, I am. I am. You are doing something yes. with someone else. Yeah. Okay. And uh, is there anyone that's an S or C or K or C or an S there's, or C? There's an S, yeah. That you're doing work with? Or is this family um, or friend? Uh, friend. Is that a female yeah. S? Is she S with an N in it or an R or an L in it? It's not Sue or Susan, or, it, no. or but it's, it starts with S. Yeah. Is there a T in that name no. or an R in it? Yeah. No. Okay. I, I'm not sure if that's the person I'm getting. Okay. There's no one who's like Stephanie or Stephen or... No. Um, nobody. A, no, there's a Sabine... Savine, maybe. Well, Stephen, and, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to move on because okay. I'm not sure that I'm getting it right. Okay. Unless you're going to be working with someone like this and you don't know this yet. Hmm. Who's Maria or Marie or a middle name Marie or Maria? Oh, it's Marie. Or Margaret or... Did you have a grandmother like this or... No. Or mother or anyone like this? No. And also... There's an M. Is there a Michael? I don't know. There's an M. No, I don't have... Um, is there a middle name that's... I'm thinking. No, I don't. Is there... And there's M. not... It, are you working with someone that's a Mike or a Mark or an... No, I have a dear friend that I talk to every day, Mark. You have a dear friend no, named yeah, Mark. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not work. It's a friend. Yeah. And this is somebody you talk to every day. Every day. So he's your best friend? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. I like him. I feel like you can trust him. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm feeling money coming to you. I don't know. Have you been worried about money? Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> okay, because I feel like there's money coming to you, and but you, you have to be really positive and really proactive with your business things. Okay. And not just, I feel like you're supposed to do more than one thing. I feel like you're supposed to be proactive about more than one thing with with your business and and put your mind to it and really work on it. Do do you have anybody who's like a Frank Frank or Francis or Fred or F Francesca F? I have a friend Francesca. That's that she's a friend. Yeah. Okay. So why would I pick up on her? Have you seen her recently? I, yeah, I just had dinner with her a couple nights ago for her birthday. For her birthday? Yeah. Okay. And also, is there a Lou or Louise or L? L. Like, or E-L. Or anyone that starts with E or L. Yeah, E, L, Elaine, my mother. Elaine. I was going to say, is it your mother? Okay, yeah, yeah don't say names. Oh, Just say okay. yes or no. I know okay. you believe me. Where, where is your mom living? Yep. Okay. There's a man with her. Is her is her father Antonio? Or Yeah. Okay, so her father's watching over her. And her mom's deceased as well, right? Yes. Because I feel like they're both watching over your mom. Was there a health issue around your mom? Yes. 
She that, said some things. Yeah, I feel whatever whatever I'm getting from them is like they can be controlled, they can be fixed, they can be worked with. Who's going away? Is it, are you going away somewhere or is she going away somewhere? Who's like going out of state? Um, I might be traveling soon. Like uh, November or December? November, yeah. Yeah, I, are you going to New York? I'm going to go to New York. You are going to New York, yeah. okay. And somewhere else? Yes. Are you going out of the country? Yes. Or to England or Europe or yeah. Italy? I don't know. Israel. Israel. Possibly. Israel. Possibly, oh, great. yeah. Okay, if you don't go then, you'll end up going out of the country. I just wasn't sure where you were going. But I see you going to New York for sure. And then I see you going out of the country. I don't know. There might be a delay or an issue with that trip. Why is that? Well, I just found out the other day that um, we're either going to go... Uh, because the, the guy that we were going to interview is actually coming to the States. Okay. But I was saying, gee, that's... I really wish we he wasn't so we could so go over could there. Go and there. they said, well, maybe we'll go over there anyways and get some other people. I and feel, I, it, is this with John or is this with someone else? This is with someone else. Okay. Well, I just feel like there's, there's doors. I, I feel like it was dry for a while or things yes. weren't working yes. right for you or the opportunities weren't working right. But I feel like now the energy is back going, and I feel like there's going to be a lot going on by February. Are, is that when everything's taking off in February? I'm hoping. I don't know. Yeah, well, so hope. that would be good. That would be really good. What? Um, were, you, were you concerned about your own health? Or have you been tired? Yeah, I've been very tired, and, and yes, okay. uh, I have been concerned. Yeah. But you didn't have a scare, right? Um, mm, I did actually have a scare a couple months ago. My appendix almost burst, and okay, I so got really did you sick have them afterwards. Fixed? Yeah, I, I had to get immediate surgery. And, okay, and, that's what I'm saying. I'm feeling that you need to work on your... I'm not allowed to give out medical advice. However, I feel like you need to work on your adrenals. And I, I feel like you don't pay enough attention to your health. Do you ignore your health? You know, I don't, but t at times I get lazy, yes. Do you have any alternative doctors, like alternative medical doctors? I see acupuncturists and I see, Good. you know, different I feel like you like need that. something to help you with your adrenals and almost like a cleanse. Okay. Have you... Well, you're really thin, so you don't need to lose weight, that's for sure. But something to... Cleanse your energy, cleanse your body. Clean, I don't know. I just feel like. When was the last time you had a blood test? Uh, maybe a couple months ago. Oh, so, and you were okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's something about, uh, I don't know, boosting your adrenals or getting the right um, supplements. Okay. I feel like they're lacking in supplements, and maybe that wouldn't show in a blood test. But I feel like, and you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be really busy. And I think also with John, really busy. So I feel like you need to, like, really. And don't get disappointed if something doesn't work out exactly right. Something else, it'll all come together the way it's supposed to. But I feel like you, you've been very successful in the past. Is that true? Like, extremely successful in the past? I've had some big successes on some projects, yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel like there's just more things coming around you. And is there an R or D person or R or B? R, B. Um. There's not like a Robert or Bill or Bob or who's Bill or William? William. Who's William? She's saying, Gina's in here, by the way, everybody. She's saying yes. Maybe, yeah, I have a really dear friend, Bill Loud. His name is William. Is. William. Yeah, I said Bill. What, are you working with him or what? No, no, no. He's kind of like, you know, his family. He's family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Are you worried about him? Well, at times I get worried about him. He's, is he older? He, he's super old. He's 94 oh, or 6 God, or 7 Oh, God, I have no idea who that something. is. Okay, yeah, I feel like they have... they. Somebody needs to keep an eye on him. Does he have somebody watching out for him? Most times, yeah. 92% he of the time. He needs to communicate about things, like if he gets dizzy or... Has he had any issue like yeah. this? Dizzy and falling? Yes, yes, a I'm lot. worried about dizzy and falling, and, and he needs somebody to help him so he doesn't make a situation worse about his health. Okay. So he's like family wow. to you. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, I love Bill. Okay. Okay, so I feel like you wanted to know mostly about your work. Yeah. Do you have other questions? Or did I miss I miss somebody? Where's your mom? Elaine. Oh, she's, Elaine, she, I said yeah, her. She's on I the did East say Coast, Elaine. Yeah. Okay, so I already said Elaine. Did you lose someone else? Yeah. Recently? I didn't give you their initials though. Oh my god. I think you did. And which I, which one was it? Taylor. T. Oh, you okay. Did, and I Okay, so Taylor is Taylor was my best but that's love, why you should okay. Was was it life. was it a romance or was it uh, no. just a creative thing? Yeah, create uh, just creative. I feel like I feel like Taylor's going to help you. I feel like Taylor's energy with was were they really creative? We were, yeah, together. together. He was obviously way, way, way on his own, creative, and and I uh, feel like his energy wants to help you with your project still. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, because so you have a uh, a void with missing him. Oh God, yeah. Was he also a mentor, or just you could just bounce things off of we each other? We were just... Um, an amazing team. An amazing team. Everything that we did, uh, we did a lot. I feel like oh. John will be okay, too, though. Do you like John? Love John. I feel love, like he'll ha, be... Ha, ha, I think he'll be okay, too. Just don't give up. Things are going to look... They're, they're going to look good, then they're going to be an issue. Then they're going to look at an issue. Just keep moving forward, and there's other issues you're going to be doing, too. Something else you're going to be doing, too. Another project. Okay. Other projects. So you have to get your energy up and your health up to, to fix this. Did, um, did you speak at Taylor's memorial? Yes. Because he's thanking you for your kind words, your loving words. Did you did you write something down? Did you jot something down? And I don't know what he's saying. Did you put something? What was he cremated? Yes. Did you write him a letter or write him a note? I did write him a note because he he's thanking you for the for the note, and he loves you too, and he's saying the the only good news about all of this is that when you get to the other side, he's gonna be there greeting you. <sighs> God, that's great. I, yeah. Because you guys, like, made ma know how to make magic happen. And he's saying something about the stars, something about a star. So, I don't know. Um, I know sometimes people have symbols of things, like our mom comes as a butterfly. Some people have a bird. I'm seeing a star. So I don't know what that means unless you're going to be a star or there's a star or something coming for you. Wow. I don't know that you. I don't know what that means exactly. Your project's not about a star or anything, so. No, but it is, is about. It, it, actually, it's is not it about, about the sky or stars or moon or. It's, sun. Well, it's about the 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 heavens and the healing heavens. and. Because that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm the, seeing yeah. like heaven. I'm seeing the, like the stars and the moon, or like the the clouds. I'm seeing the sky. That's the whole open. That's when what it's kind of about where 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 everything comes from. So he's helping you with this. He wants to help you with it. Wow! I knew I had to cut him in on this deal. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Even from the other side. Yeah. Wow. It's okay. really special. But the something about the stars and the heavens. Yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. Okay, I think I'm done, unless you have other questions. Uh, well, the, the age-old question I think everyone would probably ask is love life. Is there any... Oh, your love life. My love life. I feel you will have a relationship. 
I do. I feel like you're going to have a relationship. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. But That's I also nice. feel like your energy right now is going into your work. Yeah. But when you least expect it, you're going to you're going to connect with somebody. In a yeah, and I feel like you're going to be really happy. In fact, when I first, ooh, money. That's money. Right hand is money. Right hand is money. Yeah, it's itching. Woohoo. That's good. Too. Um the when I first met you in there uh -huh. in the green room when I said hi, I kept seeing somebody I know that reminds you remind me of them. She met a lovely woman. They're very happy. They've been together for a long time and they're and that's exactly who who I saw when I saw you. And when I see things about people and that remind me of someone else, usually the same thing happens to them. Well, yeah. So, yeah, it's all good. This is a good yeah. time for you. Yeah. But don't let the noise of the... There's a lot of chaos in our universe now. That doesn't bother you, right? Well, I have to block it out. You because it's... Make sure it's, you block it out. It's too hard on my it's, heart to yeah, hear all just, this... Just, Block it I've been out. blocking it out. Don't allow it to affect your creativity and what you're doing because it's just noise and it's just sometimes energetically there has to be chaos so we can find solutions to heal things. Right. So if you look at it like that, it might be a better way to, you know, view stuff. Okay. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. You're I've, so right on. I don't even know what to say. Well, I'm, I'm grateful, and, and I can't myself. wait to see your project. And if you there's, like, a, an opening, I want to be invited. There will be an opening, and <laughs> really? you will be there. Of I want to be invited. Okay. Absolutely. Well, no, but you know what I was laughing Wait, about? wait, wait. I just want to... <laughs> it's Gina in the background, guys. Okay, so I want to I wanna thank Christiane for allowing me to read for her. I want to thank Crystal for for being brave enough to be interviewed by me. And especially I want to thank you guys for your, your, you warm my heart all the time because you allow me to do what I love to do and you're allowing me to share it with you. So thank you so much. All the best. God bless you. Bye-bye.